entering Duncan's Mills, California, is to step back in time, back into the 19th century lumber mill town, lovingly restored and designated in 1982 as an historic district. Thanks for the most part to one family. His name was uh, Arnold Fritz. Fritz Wallen, but everyone called him Sweet. Was he was known name. by Sweet yeah. all day. And my mother's name was Alfield Sigrid Alström Wallen. Okay. We're 100% Swedish. I'm Christina, and I live on um, Moscow Road. I'm a newcomer. I've been here 25 years. I'm Nancy Ferreira, and um, I am also a newcomer. I moved here in 1970, about 50 years ago. I'm Lisa, and I live in Duncan's Mills. I mean, I did have just been back for 17 years. <laughs> just. Well, it seems like I'm a newcomer comparatively. And You're never an old timer, ever. No, no. <laughs> Could never be that. When he acquired this town, he was obviously in cahoots, but a par actually his partnership <laughs> with these other guys. And they wanted to log, and he said, I don't want to log, I'll take the town. That was in 1970. 100 years earlier, in 1877, the Duncan brothers floated their entire sawmill operation and the post office five miles up the river by barge. At that time, the river was 20 feet deep. The river was a, a navigable stream. Had big boats on it. They from took the, logs from, the, from here yeah. down to the ocean. Yeah. Others soon followed, adding to the town's amenities. John Orr was a, was a big part of Duncan's Mills, and he owned the so saloon, the and that is worldly goods. Christopher de Kien was a Frenchman. He built the hotel and livery stable, which is the red building now, Country Source. Wow, so here. you guys really are very important to this town. They are the town. <laughs> no, 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 that's not, not true. We're not. We're not. No, but you, not. the people you here rebuilt, I mean, you yes, restored it. But the people here are the not town. Not the general yeah. store. Yeah. The no, general not store. Not the general store or the blue hand. Yeah. Yes, we're here. While the family set about renovating the town, they were also busy building and running several businesses. Christina ran the bed and breakfast. And I did that for 14 years. Everyone pitched in at the family campground. And it was a public campground. Lisa would come down. I gave fun. pony rides. We also had nature walks and I gave those. Nancy and her mom opened the renowned Christopher Queen Art Gallery. We have early California paintings from the 1860s to the 1920s. And those are all by artists that are very important in Northern California. Mm -hmm. And Lisa did her thing. Flowers are beautiful, I think. Really, and then, really stunning. And then the lifelong love of antiques. Yeah. We've always been at junkers. I've hauled junk around my entire life. <laughs> we were forced to. Uh, we, we were forced options. to. We thought we hated it, and then we, we were didn't. in cars, and my parents would go to antique stores. Yeah. The family's final restoration project was especially significant. Then we were able to get the caboose, and that was my dad's last project. He just finished it right before he died. Um, that was caboose number two, which was the caboose on this railroad, so it's pretty neat. Our dad had a very strong sense of um, leaving things better than, they found, than he found them, you know, making things better. That partnership that my father was one of actually donated Russian Gulch and the beach at Jenner, all that land, all that property west of the highway to the state. They, well, they, they, and they the paid, Jenner watershed. They paid them. To the town. They paid them a dollar. Oh. 